What's up guys, Christian here with River Pools. Today we're gonna to compare underground or in-ground pools to above ground pools. We're gonna talk cost, maintenance, longevity. Anyway, this is Two Minutes in the Pool. All right, you know how this works. I set a two minute timer on my clock and try to get to the bottom of this, give you the answer you're looking for before the jingle sounds off. All right, uh, we're talking about above ground versus in ground pools. If this information is helpful for you, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more educational pool content from us here at River Pools. Let's talk costs, let's talk longevity, let's talk maintenance. Hey Siri, set a two minute timer. She thought about it. Your timer is set for two minutes. <laughs> Very good. Let's go. All right, let, let's talk cost right out of the gate. An above ground pool is going to cost anywhere from four to twelve thousand dollars. An in ground pool could cost anywhere from thirty to seventy thousand dollars. Now, in both cases, that's kind of a range. But let's talk about the three factors, the three main factors that affect the price of a pool being placed in your backyard. The first thing is the kit itself or the pool itself. For an in-ground pool, we're talking about the vinyl liner and the structural walls, so there's a kit there. Or we're talking about the fiberglass shell, if you have a fiberglass pool, or of course the concrete uh, that's gonna be built on site to build your pool. So, so it's the cost of the pool in terms of an above-ground pool. Again, there's a kit, there's a wall, there's some columns, and of course the liner. So the kit or the pool itself is one category. The second category is the cost to install it. How much labor does it take? How many hours, how many days does it take to install that pool? And of course, the third category would be the deck or the final grade or finishes to get in and out of your pool. Certainly more cost, uh, costly for an in-ground pool versus an above-ground pool. However, for an above-ground pool, that cost could get away from you as materials to build uh, a deck raised above the grade around an above-ground pool could cost as much, if not more, than that pool itself. So just be mindful, those three categories, the pool, the installation, and the pool deck. Those three factors affect the cost of a pool. All right, let's talk about maintenance for both. Uh, you know what? They're both pretty comparable. We might give a slight edge and ease of maintenance to an in-ground pool simply because it's far easier to vacuum a pool from the pool deck itself and you can reach down everywhere you need to within a pool. Not all above ground pools have a walk around deck and so sometimes it's difficult to reach over the wall to vacuum the pool out and keep it clean. So a slight edge to an in-ground pool. I was feeling confident, I was, I promise I was, but the timer beat me. The timer beat me. I can't stop it. There it goes. So we give a slight edge to the in-ground pools in terms of ease of maintenance, simply because it's easier to access if there's not a deck all the way around the top. The last category would be longevity. How long is an above-ground pool going to last versus an in-ground pool? Well, an above-ground pool is built out of, a, uh, out of a kit, as I mentioned, and a vinyl liner is used to contain the water. So that vinyl liner needs to be replaced every several years, every five to seven. Some folks are making it uh, a dozen or more years with diligent care and maintenance, but we are finding that the kit itself, the steel wall, some of the other components begin to degrade after about seven years. And again, there are folks, uh, there are circumstances when these pools last quite a bit longer, but it all depends on how much diligent care and maintenance you provide and how much attention you give to maintaining that pool. In terms of an in-ground pool, a fiberglass pool is going to last the longest uh, because the surface does not need to be replaced at any point. So you can expect at least 20 years out of that pool. A vinyl liner in-ground pool, again, the liner needs to be replaced. And as for a concrete pool, incredibly durable, but that surface as well needs to be refinished every 12 years or so. So, I hope that gives you the answer you were looking for. We got to hear the jingle because I didn't beat the clock today. I'm Christian with River Pools. That was a quick comparison between above ground and in ground pools, cost, maintenance, and longevity. Stay tuned for the next episode of Two Minutes in the Pool. We'll see you then. Catch the wave.